Hey guys, please let me know if you can see me, if this is working. Okay, get the questions rolling in. What was the first breed of dog I groomed? The first breed of dog I groomed was a poodle, a mini poodle. Isabel, your niece wants to become a groomer and what I would recommend. I would recommend going to a local pet grooming shop and ask them for a job as a dog bather. Start that first because you might not like the job or your niece might not like the job. That's the best way to start. Scott, yes, all I do is groom dogs. I don't work out regularly. Tips on having your dog desensitized to nail trimming. Uh, the only tip I have would be to start young, bring them to a groomer maybe every two weeks and have them trim the nails. I got my leggings from... I get them from all over the place, but if you're talking about the recent ones, there is a there's a bunch of different uh, grooming apparel places online that I buy my stuff from. So which ones are you talking about? Rachel, your rough collie. Rough collies do hate being brushed. That is definitely true. I would get a really good slicker brush, like the coral slicker brush and use the stuff for dogs, which is a conditioning spray. Spray your dog down with that first and then brush. That way it's a little bit easier, but it can be really difficult to brush a rough collie. How did I get into the career of grooming? I went to a local pet groomer and I asked her for a job. I was actually in school to be a hairdresser first and I dropped out because I didn't like working with people all day. Um, so she gave me a job and she asked to start teaching me how to groom dogs and I agreed and that's just where it started for me. I didn't go to school. I was taught directly from somebody. My favorite breed of dog to groom, I'm going to say is probably a German Shepherd. Thank you for the $5. Um, why do I shave the paw pads? It's usually just for the clients. Obviously, if you have a dog and it's going outside, their paws get dirty. So we shave the paws so that it does not collect so much debris. If you have a um, slippery floor in your house as well, and the hair gets long in between the paw pads, they're going to slip as they're walking. So it's just better for the dog too. Um, that's the only reason why we do it. There's no main reason, no real health benefit to shaving out the paw pads. Do I know if there's a market for dog animal massage? I used to have a massage therapist working in my shop that would do massage therapy for dogs. So there are definitely people that will take advantage of that. This is going too fast. Oh boy. I have groomed a white German Shepherd. It was owned by my best friend. She unfortunately passed away. I find that the white ones shed a lot more. Thank you, Carlos. Cheetos is an awesome cat. Dog breed that I enjoy the most being groomed. Uh, I think I already answered that. It's German Shepherd, but also Pomeranian. So the happy hoodie, what you can use instead of it, I guess, would be you could just get a sock and cut the bottom off the sock and put that on your dog's head. That should work just fine. Uh, my thoughts on golden retrievers. I love golden retrievers. They're awesome. How do I deal with delicate greyhound skin? I'll be honest, a greyhound has never been a dog that's ever come into my shop before. But any dog that has delicate skin, I'm just going to use a hypoallergenic shampoo on them. 
a difficult breed of dog to groom. Um, I'm going to say the most difficult is probably a husky because they are very, well, you've seen the videos, so you know. But yeah, I'm going to go with husky on that one. My biggest grooming no-no would be do not shave double-coated dogs. That is my biggest grooming no-no. Please do not shave double-coated dogs. If your dog's nails are overgrown, but you try to trim them and they bleed, that means that the quick is really long in the nail, so you can't actually trim them, unfortunately. It is normal for a lot of dogs. Thank you, Donna. And thank you to somebody else, K, K C Stealth. <laughs> English Cocker Spaniels, um, they're really cute. I don't love them because they have way too many health problems. And that's, yeah, that's the only reason. They have way too many health problems. The average person that purchases a Cocker Spaniel does not realize how much uh, health issues that they can have and how much upkeep that they have. Yes, I can groom a cockapoo at some point. I have lots. So your puppy is not going to like water for its first bath. That's just how it goes. But the best advice I have for you is just to go ahead and give them a bath. Let them run around and scream and cry. They'll be fine. They'll realize that it's not going to kill them. Give them lots of treats, lots of praise. No puppy likes a bath. Thank you, guys. I don't think I'm going to pronounce your name correctly, but Pagel and Tammy. tip for a dog who hates getting its nails cut. I posted a video yesterday. Um, it depends what kind of breed of dog you have, I guess, but it's a harness that hangs them up in the air and makes it easier for me to clip the nails. You guys can check that out. That's the only tip I really have for dogs that hate having their nails clipped. I already did click on slow-mo chat and I thought I set it up and I don't know why all of a sudden it has stopped. I'm confused. Yes, I've heard of a greater Swiss mountain dog. I have never groomed one. I wish somebody that had one would call me. I'd love to do one. Yes, you can cut dog whiskers. It's not a problem. We do it all the time. Poodles that you see in show rings, for example, they all have their whiskers shaved off. It's not a big deal. It's not the same as cats. Favorite song a Husky has sang to you? They all sing the same song. You've heard the song. <laughs> will I do any follow-up videos on some of the dogs you groom? If you mean, will they appear again? Yes, they will. When they come in, I will film them. because Especially, there's a lot of favorites I know that you guys want to see. Thank you, Sai Say. I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. Grooming suggestions for short-haired breeds. They don't really require very frequent baths. Um, my favorite brush would be the Equi Groomer. I've heard really good things about the Zoom Groom as well. I just haven't used one. When did I decide I wanted to be a groomer? I just got a job at a local grooming shop and she decided to teach me how to groom and that was it. I never actually made the decision. It just kind of fell in my lap. Jen, how do you get rid of fleas? Go to your vet. That's the best option I have for you. Andrew, thank you. Yes, I've groomed a Bernice Mountain Dog. There is two of them on the channel. Grooming suggestion for long-haired cats with hairball issues. I think hairball issues, I could be wrong, but I, I think that has to do with food as well. I thought that there's a specific diet, uh, diet your vet will put your cat on for hairballs. Um, but brush or do the lion cut. Do I prefer to groom a cat or dog? Um, I'm going to probably say cat. I actually find the cats to be a lot easier than the dogs. They just sit there. 
the dogs like to jump around on the table and give me a run for my money. So cats are definitely easier. A lot of people are surprised by that, but it's true. What is my heritage? Um, well, technically I'm Canadian, but my background is Italian. The most shedding breed out of any single breed are going to be your German Shepherd and your Husky. Thank you, Eric. Our labs or goldens a decent apartment dog. Any dog can be an apartment dog as long as you take it for physical activity every single day. Take it for a walk, take it to the park. As long as you're doing that, your dog doesn't really matter where they're sleeping, whether it's in a house or an apartment, that's the same place they're gonna be sleeping. So yeah, any dog can be an apartment dog as long as you're willing to put in the time to exercise them. What was the worst grooming injury I have gotten? Fortunately, knock on wood, nothing serious. They've all been very uh, minor cuts. So nothing, nothing serious. I had a dog come in who uh, at the previous groomer, the groomer broke the dog's jaw. So that's the worst thing that I have ever heard of. Um, and the dog, I did her yesterday, actually. She was really scared the whole time. I fe feel terrible for the dog. Thank you, Sarah. Dogs that don't let me cut their face well and they're difficult. It's not easy. Maybe I'll do a video on it when I have one come in. I don't have very many of those, but it's definitely difficult. And the only thing I can tell you is that I have very fast reflexes. Hold the dog as still as I can, move as quickly as I can, try to do a little bit at a time. It's, it's certainly a challenge. Do indoor cats still need to be groomed? Not all cats need to be groomed. Most short haired cats don't need to be groomed. Um, cats that are long haired or get matted or have skin problems or are old and can't clean themselves. Those are the only cats that really need to be groomed. When will you see me in a happy hoodie? I don't have any of them that fit my head. So <laughs> I do not do hand stripping. So that's why you won't see a lot of wired haired, uh, dogs on my channel that require hand stripping because I don't do it. Um, I do shave those dogs if the client prefers to have the dog shaved instead of stripped. I don't do hand stripping just because it's a lot on your hands and both my hands and wrists are already in rough shape after 10 years of grooming. So it's just something I don't do because it doesn't work for me. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Nate. How long does it take for me to get the undercoat with the savior fur nozzle? And how does it feel to become famous overnight? I don't really think I'm famous, but thanks guys. <laughs> it feels normal. I feel normal. Um, the Savior Fur Nozzle, it's going to depend on the dog, how long it's going to take me. It's always different. Depends how much coat they're shedding. However, have I ever been bit by a Jack Russell? No. Um, I've only ever groomed a couple Jack Russells. Thank you, Vanessa. What to use to groom an Alaskan Malamute? The same stuff I use to groom a Husky in all my Husky, husky videos, I would do an Alaskan Malamute. Yes, there will be more Mayo videos. Obviously, he's a cat. He doesn't come in very often, but the next time he comes in, I will definitely do another video on that dramatic feline. Yes, I get permission from the owners to film their pets. They all have to sign a waiver. How often do I get a pet that hates water? Every day. They don't really love to be groomed. I don't I don't have any beagles right now, so I can't show you any beagle grooming, unfortunately. They're a short-haired dog. They don't really need to be groomed. Thank you so much. Um, I cannot say that name, but thank you so much. How often do I bathe my dog that's suffering from fungal skin infections? I live in India and it's a common problem. Um, I would say once a week, I have a few dogs that come in once a week for fungal infections. You can get a medicated shampoo from your vet. Um, thank you so much, Rohith, I think. Are you planning on uploading longer versions of grooms? Um, I might upload longer versions of grooms, but I might do a, um, different channel. Um, not on this channel. I like to do the short ones, but there might be a few here and there. The name of my channel, how did I decide? I don't know. I just had a TikTok account and for some reason, girl with the dogs just came to my mind. There was really no thought behind it.
Thank you so much, uh, Diane. I can't pronounce that name. I'm so sorry. How many dogs do I groom per day? I groom about 15 a day, um, four days a week. And then I do my filming appointments on my days off. So I groom about one or two on the days off for filming. You don't need to groom your Frenchie very often. They have no hair. Just trim their nails. It's not a necessity for them. I will consider a Twitch channel. Grooming live can be difficult because I usually have blow dryers and dogs barking in the background. So unless it's just me and the dog, it's kind of annoying to be live. You'll have to mute it because it would be really loud. But when I'm working with 15 a day, there's a lot going on. So grooming live can be difficult. Could you make a tutorial on how to properly trim your dog's nails? Yes, I can do that. Hand stripping will not change the coat permanently. Shaving a wired haired dog will change the coat permanently. It doesn't matter though, that's just aesthetic. So if you like the wired haired look, you're gonna wanna do stripping. If you don't really care about the wired haired look, then you can shave them. It won't affect them, um, their health. Well, if you'll still watch, maybe I'll do a few live videos here and there. It can just be hard with customers coming in and out too. I'd have to put a dog in a crate and go outside and you guys would be sitting on live and I wouldn't be doing anything. So we, I will definitely post more meatball. I see him about once or twice a week, so. I could do compilation videos, I guess. I haven't really thought about that, but I could definitely consider it. I have Gidget hair on my nose. You guys, Gidget's on my lap. You guys can't see her, but she's a bit of a mess right now because she's been rolling around outside. Thought about occupational therapy for your hands. One of the groomers seeing treatment before surgery help her any job. Yes, I go, um, I go to regular physiotherapy. I do um, uh, massage therapy. I do... And I can't think of the name right now, but yes, I definitely do a lot for my hands as much as I can do. Gidget, come here. Say hello. Say hello. How do you get your cat more calm when trimming the nails? Uh, good luck. It's a cat. <laughs> I don't have much <laughs> an option for cats. Just want to say that this is the one of the most epically witty channels ever. And the mix of the expert knowledge, humor, and technique is amazing. Keep going to the one mil and beyond. Thank you so much. This dog is dangerous. <laughs> yes, she's very dangerous with her freaking looks. My shop is located in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Thoughts on making your own grooming station for your Westie? I would just buy a grooming table. Most of the time when you put your dog up on a surface, they just stop what they're doing. If you're trying to groom your dog on the floor, they have plenty of room to run away. So get a grooming table and that should help you considerably with a grooming loop. Most challenging to groom, I'm gonna say is a Husky. But I'm thinking about a small dog, most challenging small dog to groom. Shih Tzus can cause me quite a bit of problems. A lot of them like to bite and lasso apsos. Do I have my own pets? Yes, I have four dogs. I only have two of them on the couch right now. Second, come here, Melvin. Come here. No, Melvin doesn't want to come. Come here. Oh, okay. Ugh. Melvin. And the other ones are running away. Oh, Melvin, please stop. What breed of dog would I get if I want another one? I would get another German Shepherd for sure. If I was a dog, what breed would I like to be? I would like to be a German Shepherd. The water temperature is always warm. Not too hot, not too cold, always warm. I do not groom anything other than cats and dogs. Melvin is the cutest. He is very hairless. 
He's losing a lot of hair because he has alopecia, but he is still cute. Right, Melvin? You're still cute. If I wasn't a pet groomer, what would I be? I really have no idea. I didn't know what I wanted to do at all after high school, so this fell in my lap, and if it didn't, I'm not too sure. Yeah, Melvin, why are you camera shy? Hmm? Look at the camera. <laughs> the worst thing that happened to me while grooming would probably be when worms started to shoot out of a dog's back end while I was blow drying it. That was um, a lot of fun that day. <laughs> Equi Groomer is a really small company, so I don't think that they would ever um, sponsor me, but I have helped them to get a lot of sales, and they have sent me a package saying thank you, which was really nice of them. So I really like their product, and I'm going to continue to advertise for them whether they sponsor me or not. Do I ever have to regroom dogs for a dissatisfied client? That happened maybe twice in the 10 years that I've been grooming. And that would just be an error based on communication. I didn't know, I didn't really understand the length that they wanted, but that's only ever happened, I'm going to say maybe two times in 10 years. The dogs don't not, sorry, the dogs don't get dirty in my backyard after grooming. A lot of you guys comment, won't they roll around? So dogs roll around after a bath when they're wet. If they've been completely dried, they're not going to roll around. That's the only reason they roll around is because they're trying to get dry. What is the name of my most well-behaved client dog? I have a lot of really well-behaved dogs, a lot. So that would be hard to mention. There would be way too many names. Of Most dogs sit there like a statue. You wouldn't believe it, but it's true. Karen client. I have a good Karen client story I will share with you. This happened not too long ago. So I had this lady bring me her two West Highland Terriers. This is going to take a little while, so I'm going to miss some of your questions here. Um, so she brought her dogs into me because she found me off TikTok. And the first time she brought her dogs to me, she absolutely loved the haircut. She texted me after to tell me she loved the haircut. All was good. We pre-booked. We pre-booked to the next time. And when she brought them in, the one dog was very badly matted in certain spots all over its body. It was a puppy. I knew if I shaved the dog that the client would be really upset. So I just shaved the spots that were matted. It looked terrible, but it was the only option I had. It was either that or shave the dog completely. Anyways, um, she when she came to pick up the dog, I explained to her everything that happened. She seemed fine. And then a, a couple months later, she didn't show up for her appointment, even though she had confirmed it the night before. So I messaged her and I said, hey, just letting you know that you missed your appointment. And she told me, she knew she missed her appointment. She did it on purpose. She wanted me to lose income because she was so unhappy with her dog's previous cut. She wanted to make sure that she specifically did not show up and I missed out <laughs> on two dogs that day. Um, she had worse words to use that I won't put on this live. But yeah, that was uh, interesting. Just so you guys know, your dog's hair will grow back. Just in case anybody was aware. It, it's fine. It'll grow back. It'll be normal again. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, that was probably the biggest Karen story I've ever had. I still to this day laugh about that. It's so hilarious. The grossest thing I've ever done as a dog groomer, I already mentioned it, but it was cleaning worms off of a dog, tapeworms. It was quite gross. I should have charged her still. I wish I could have, but I don't have her credit card information, so I can't just charge her if she doesn't want to pay me. It doesn't matter. I have a 15 minute window. In 15 minutes, she didn't show up. So I called somebody else to come. It wasn't a big deal. But yeah, she proceeded to tell me that I was the worst groomer she's ever been to. <laughs> and um, basically just brush your dogs, guys. That's all. Have I ever groomed a bunny? I have not. I guess somebody told me who grooms um, rabbits that it can actually be really dangerous. Um, they can break their backs very easily if they get scared or something. So after I heard that, unless somebody is going to show me how to do it professionally, I am definitely not going to take on any rabbit clients. The scariest grooming experience I've ever had was probably when I was grooming a husky not too long ago. Um, 
she spun in the bathtub and tried to bite me pretty bad. And she was a very big dog. And the owner could not get her out of the bathtub. I had to call him to pick the dog up because I couldn't go anywhere near it. And the owner could not take the dog out. The dog was trying to bite the owner. That was scary. It was a very big husky. I don't think it was a purebred husky, but that was scary. I love grooming cats. They're easy. They just sit there. They let me do whatever I want. They're not like dogs. Yes, I am surprised by my popularity on YouTube. I did not expect my um, page to blow up or my channel to blow up like that. Yes, um, I actually had a dog have a heart attack on my table once. That was really scary. Um, she was obviously in distress, but every dog that comes into my shop panics when you're grooming them. So it was not um, anything unusual. But anyways, the dog had a heart problem that the owner didn't know about. So she had a heart attack on the table and I had to resuscitate her and she did survive and everything was fine. But it was the scariest moment of me grooming ever. I've never seen anything like that before, but she had an undiagnosed heart issue. I don't think anybody grooms hamsters. I've never heard of a hamster going to a groomer before. So most of my YouTube videos that I post are clients that come on my days off. So some of them I don't even know. It's the first time I've ever groomed them before. They are booked specifically to be filmed. So I don't really pick and choose who I'm going to be taping. It's sometimes they're new dogs and I have no idea what they're going to be like or how they are. I've been really fortunate to have really good dogs though. How do I handle a client who ends up abusing their pets? I have never had evidence of physical abuse. I have had evidence of neglect, a lot, a lot of neglect. There's nothing that we can do about it. As long as they are bringing their dog into a groomer, they authorities won't do anything about it because they see the dog going to a groomer as them trying to help their pet. Thank you so much, Paul. How do I handle a client who ends up abusing? I already asked that question. I do not get my voice or Candence inspiration from anywhere. I just started doing this on my own. I'll be honest with you. I never really watched YouTube. I've had a lot of people comment saying I sound like the lock picking lawyer. I don't even know who that is. Um, <laughs> so it just came naturally. This is just what I decided to do. I, I wasn't watching anything that made me think, okay, I need to sound like this, or this is how I need to say this. It just came naturally. I will not groom pregnant dogs. Um, I will do a belly shave on them so that when they give birth, uh, the nipples are easy to access for the puppies, but I will not groom a pregnant dog. If they get stressed out, it's not good. I have never seen a dog have dog bites or assumed that there was any kind of um, dog fighting illegal dog fighting going on. I don't think people bring their dogs to the groomer that are doing things like that. None of my commentaries are scripted. They are all just, I just sit there and as it's rolling, I say what comes off my head. That's it. Can I groom a Caucasian shepherd? Do you want me to? If somebody had a Caucasian shepherd and they told me that dog was friendly, for my safety, I would absolutely groom one, but I do not know anyone that has one. I think they are also called, um, they're called something else, aren't they? Anyways, um, I would love to groom one. They are definitely beautiful dogs. And you have two Caucasian Shepherds. And tell me, can you trust them with a stranger? Because I know that they're really aggressive dogs. I only knew one person that had one and it broke down a door in their house to get out of a room. So that's, it's like, it's like owning a bear. Yes, I accept bulldogs. I have a cameraman. He is my boyfriend and he does all of the filming for me. Uh, do I recommend pulling ear hairs? If your veterinarian suggests that your dog should have its ear hair pulled and it needs it for health purposes, I will do it. I do not do it to every single dog that comes in. 
Um, I don't think it's necessary. I don't pluck my own dog's ears and he has hair in his ears and he's never had a problem. So I guess it just depends if the dog has an issue and needs to have it done. Yes, I accept pit bulls. I have a pit bull on the channel. I do not have any collaborations planned at the moment. Any cat name suggestions? I really like the name uh, Cannoli. <laughs> You've broke a lot of hearts. That's funny. I have never done a Japanese Akita. I have not made $3 million on YouTube. If I've made $300 million, sorry, $3 million on YouTube, I would be living in Hawaii right now. <laughs> Lion cots are safe for cats, but I only suggest it if your cat gets matted. If your dog's coat, sorry, if your cat's coat doesn't get matted, don't shave them. It's not really necessary. My birthday is January 20th. Why does my dog nibble on my other dog's ears? Probably just for fun. I don't I don't think there's any particular reason. Any suggestion to help your poodle puppy with the clippers cuz they're scared of the noise? Get a electric toothbrush. Rub that electric toothbrush while it's on on your puppy all the time and feed them treats. They will learn that that electric toothbrush is not something to be concerned about and then switch over to the clipper. Dogs have a double coat if they shed. So any dog that sheds pretty much has a double coat. There's going to be single coated dogs that are really, really short like a pit bull, but even then they still have a coat underneath their other coat. So any dog that sheds. how far to clip a black dog's nails. If I had one to show you right now, I would, but clip little bit by little bit until you see a little black dot in the middle of the nail. That little black dot is the start of their quick and you don't wanna go any further. I will try to do a video on this when I can remember and post it for you guys. I am 29 years old. Yes, salmon oil can definitely help with your dog's coat. I have Pomeranians, a Yorkshire Terrier, and a Maltese mix, and a German Shepherd. If Ace wants to come over here, Ace, you wanna come here? Up, up, come on. He's probably not gonna come. My internet connection is good, but I'm just doing this live off of my webcam, so I don't think the quality is that great. I have never groomed a Great Dane. The most hyper dog I have ever groomed was probably Coco the Corgi. She was crazy. You guys saw her video. She was nuts. <laughs> she was very hyper. I never really get scared when a dog snaps at me unless they're being highly aggressive, which is very rare. Yes, I've groomed Connie Corsos. I have two of them on the channel. Thank you so much, Magna. It takes me quite a while to make a video. So right now I'm about four weeks behind on editing. So I have four weeks, four weeks ago, dogs that I filmed that I haven't had a chance to edit because I am working full time and trying to edit these videos as well and film them. So it, it takes quite a bit of time. So that Finnish Lappand that I groomed was the only one that has ever called me. So I don't know if I'd be able to do another one. Um, they did call me for another appointment, but I'm booked for the rest of the year. So it's kind of difficult. I just posted a hairless cat video, actually, if you guys want to watch it. Do huskies enjoy boops on snoots? Um, I don't really think any dog necessarily enjoys that. <laughs> Maybe they tolerate it. I use um, iMovie to edit. 
I have never been seriously bit by a dog. Again, knock on wood. What breed of dog would I like to groom that I haven't yet? I would like to groom a Leonberger. I have not done one of them yet. Um, somebody mentioned the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. I've never din, done one of those before. Um, there's quite a few, actually. I've never done a purebred Dalmatian. There's quite a few dogs that I'd really like to try. I like the big, giant, hairy dogs. What tools would I recommend for a home cat grooming kit? I only use professional clippers, so I can't really recommend uh, cheaper clippers because I've never used them, so I don't know if they'll work. But you can try the Andis. Why is my backyard so beautiful? Because my boyfriend has done a very good job of keeping it. That's why. If your dog is 15 years old, they've had him since he was seven and he's never had a bath before. I have no suggestions for you because the dog does not know what a bath is and it's going to freak out. And at 15, you don't want your dog to freak out. I do have one Irish wolfhound client. I have been waiting to post a video of her because she's still young and I want her to grow her full coat first. And I want her to get as big as she's supposed to be first for the video. So that one I will hopefully be filming in the new year. Yes, I would groom a wolf dog. I would love it if somebody called me with a wolf dog. That would be really cool. As long as, again, they can ensure my safety because wolves are not the same as dogs. Yes, I am Canadian and I do not watch hockey. Sorry. I don't really watch sports. My favorite phrases to say in my video, I think that I say them pretty often. Um, you know, Grinch feet, shave out the paw pads. Well, I saw a comment in regards to my boyfriend, but I'm going to ignore that one. And you know who you are, Amy. <laughs> when I shave the inside of a dog's ears, I don't know if you're talking about the hair that's inside the ear canal or the hair that's on the outside of the ear. Um, hair inside the ear canal could be uh, plucked. And then I just flip the ear over and lay it flat on top of the head and I shave in the direction of the ear. It's kind of hard to explain without showing you. My soap nozzle, sorry, my soap nozzle attachment can be purchased on my Amazon store. The link is in my um, channel page. So there's, there's a, quite a bit there. I am not self-taught. I was taught by a lady who was self-taught. Beatrice, if you have a wolf dog and you can come to Niagara Falls, Canada, please make your way over here because I would really love to do one. I have never groomed a pulley. No one has ever brought me a pulley before. I do not give cats catnip. I think catnip makes them crazy. I don't want them to be crazy. I froze. Am I there? What do I do in my free time? What free time? I'm either working or I'm filming or I'm editing. No, I'm kidding. Um, in my free time, I like to hang out with my dogs. Thank you once upon a video. I'm glad that Ginger likes <laughs> my voice. Listen, Jim, you're across the border. You can still get over the border. Bring the wolf dog. I have had a rough collie that I groomed for many years. I don't do him anymore. Um, rough collies are a lot of work to groom. Yes, groomers will accept aggressive dogs as long as you tell us that they're aggressive and we are aware in advance. A problem that we have with a lot of people is that they don't tell us. The video quality is bad. Over here, it doesn't look terrible, but it's on my webcam, so I don't know. Belgian Malinois. Um, I have never had anyone call me with one. I would love to do one. I know that they're a bit intense, but I'd still like to do one. Thank you, Jake. If you were a dog, what would be your breed? German Shepherd, hands down.
How long do the clone scents last? It depends on the cologne. I have a few that will last a week or two weeks, and then I have a few that only last about a couple days. My favorite cat breed. I'm going to go with probably the Maine Coon. I think they're pretty cool cats. I like how big they are. I've been grooming for 10 years. I do not look like a Spaniel. Have I ever had a client request something and I was like, nah. Um, yeah, I've definitely told clients I won't do certain things. In the past, I have shaved double-coated dogs because I didn't know um, that it was bad when I was trained by the lady that trained me. She never told me that it wasn't good because she always did it for her clients. So after more research and learning that it was not okay, um, I will not. If somebody calls me with a double-coated dog and asks me to shave it, the answer is no. I do not have my own line of products, Melissa, but I hope to have my own line of products somewhere in the future. So keep watching. Yes, I will dye dogs coats for clients if they ask. Um, it's safe. It's all natural. It's not a big deal. It won't hurt the dog in any way. I do my own dog from time to time. Average cost to groom an average dog. So for a Shih Tzu, for example, it's about $50 plus tax. I have four dogs, just a random human. I can only speak English. I don't speak any other languages. Will I encourage and teach others the art of pet grooming? Sure. I would love to be able to teach people in the future if I had more time. Yes, Gidget's tiny little purple feet every now and again. Yes, I have groomed two Salukis. If you want to check out my rescue dog video, I went to a sanctuary. I groomed a couple Salukis. They had about 10 of them come in. It was my first time ever working on a Saluki. Do I charge extra if a dog poops in my shop? No, because I would be charging almost half of my clientele extra if that was the case because a lot of them poop in the shop. Do you know of Tucker? Yes, the golden retriever on YouTube. I do. Maybe one day she can bring him to me for a groom. Thank you, Mr. Pizza Face. Some of these names are really funny. Yes, I am planning to release more merch. Thank you for mentioning that. I will actually be releasing affordable merch on my website. So keep watching, guys. Um, even though the YouTube merch is okay, I'm getting better quality merch that's going to be less expensive for you all coming soon on my site. Yes, we have tax in Canada. We have a whole bunch of tax in Canada. Yes, I've groomed a couple old English sheepdogs, but they've all been shave downs. I don't have any right now. They passed away. I do not know about Harvey and Kale. Maybe I'll check them out. Who is your longest standing customer and how long have I been grooming them? Um, I've had clients that I started grooming when I opened my shop 10 years ago. So for 10 years, I have two specifically, Oscar and Charlie, who have been a regular client of mine since the very first shop that I opened working out of my parents' basement. So it's pretty cool to still have them. You guys, I keep getting the most difficult dog breed to groom. I can't really say that there is a breed. Huskies can be difficult to groom because they're very vocal and they like to jump around. But some of the dogs that I groom that are very difficult are mixed breed dogs, and there's no particular breed that is more difficult than another. Um, I typically have my guard up whenever I'm working on a Scottish Terrier. Scottish Terriers can be very aggressive, so whenever a new one comes into my shop, I am prepared. A common misconception about dog grooming that I wish more people knew about. People don't realize how much work goes into grooming. That's why I started these videos to show people the entire process because most people don't know. So I think for a lot of you that have been following me that have never really seen this process before, you get what I'm trying to say. But anyone that comes into my shop to work with me or volunteer with me, most of them are pretty blown away at all that is involved. Uh, people don't really think about, oh, 
Dogs are going to poop on the table if they're nervous or dogs can bite if they're scared. They don't really, some of those dogs take me three hours. So thin ankle nail trimming. I'm not too sure what you mean by that. If you mean the dog has ankles and what to do, I would say put them up in a harness. Am I planning to start to hire more people for the shop? Not right now. Maybe somewhere in the future expand my shop. Who helps me film my videos? My boyfriend films my... How do I decide which clone to spray? I just spray the ones that I like the most, that I like to use. Connection is unstable. Have I ever groomed a Border Terrier? I have not. I have not never groomed a Border Terrier before. Yes, I have one Tibetan Spaniel. I just did him a day. I don't have an exercise routine. My routine would be grooming dogs every single day. Okay, there's a lot coming in now because I was frozen. Sorry, guys, for the connection. I don't know why it keeps going in and out. I do not groom horses. I am not a dog trainer, um, Candace. so if you have an aggressive pit bull, you should call a dog trainer. How long have I been with my boyfriend? I don't have any plans to get married anytime soon. I'm probably not going to post my wedding video on my dog channel. Um, I've been with him for about three years. I did not expect to have this many people on the chat. Thank you, Robert. The time in my area right now is 4.49. So we have 10 minutes left, guys. I'm ending the chat or the live at 5 o'clock. Do I have any advice on cr crusty, wet, morky eyes? It's usually the food. It's usually the food that causes the eyes to drain. I do not listen to music while I groom pets, I actually groom in complete silence. And the reason for that is because I have dryers going and I have dogs barking and I have clippers going and there's so much noise that music just adds more noise. How was my day? My day today was good. I was off of work, so that was nice. What's the funniest thing that dogs do while being groomed? Um, I'm going to say when they scream, when they're in the bathtub or being blow dried, it's, it's sometimes, especially the Shih Tzus and the Bulldogs, the screams are just hilarious. Um, and when I'm grooming a Shih Tzu, they love to do this thing where I, I'm holding the hair underneath their chin and I'm grooming them. And then they look at me dead in the eyes and they just spray all of their nose juices in my face. Yeah, that's the best. Thank you so much, SMJ. I'm glad you like my videos. Do you let clients watch you work? No. So there's a reason why we don't let clients in the room. Dogs don't want to be groomed. They want to be with their owners. So if the client is in the room and I have a dog on the table, that dog is going to be jumping around, trying to get to its owner, whining, panicking because it wants to be with its owner really, really bad. That's the reason why we don't let owners in the room and not because there's anything going on that we're worried about. It's just the dog is not going to behave if they can see their owners. But what I do do is I offer to film the groom for their dog. Not so much anymore because I'm so busy and I'm trying to film for YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, but I'll just put a camera on the dog so that they can see how their dog behaved afterwards. Part of the reason why I started doing these videos is because sometimes people want to see how their dog is when you're grooming it. Should 
shih tzus in their nose problems. How do you handle grooming clients with severe skin issues like mange or infestations? So mange or infestations, like they're not coming into the shop. They need to have that treated by a vet. We can't have that in the shop, especially if it's contagious to other dogs. But if it's skin problems like yeast problems and stuff like that, I have special shampoos or the client can bring a medicated shampoo. We let it sit on the dog for about 10 minutes and then we rinse it off. Have I ever noticed if a raw diet contributes to reduced shedding? I've been told that it does. Um, I have a German Shepherd, so she sheds all the time, no matter what. So I don't know for sure. Do I inspect dogs before accepting them? Uh, it depends. If it's a new client, yes. If it's a dog that I groom all the time, then no. How long does it take to groom my shop at the end of the day? It takes me about an hour to clean the shop at the end of the day. Do I let my feelings interfere with dogs like hugs and kisses? Obviously, it's hard not to. I love dogs, so. I have only ever groomed one Airedale when I first opened my business. They're the only ones that have ever called me. shampoo recommendations for your German Shepherd. If you go to my Amazon page, I have recommendations specific to each breed of dog. There's so many different options there. Mayonnaise, I think is not booked for another month. Do I have any veterinary knowledge to get into your profession? You don't need veterinary knowledge if that's what you mean. Um, I've just learned a lot working with dogs over the years. My favorite kind of dog is probably the German Shepherd and the Pomeranian. But there's breeds of dogs that I've never had before, so maybe I would like them too if I owned them. Mayonnaise is hilarious. He is the best cat ever. Somebody keeps asking about how they cut their French Bulldog's nails. If your dog is difficult, you can try using the harness to hang them in. Um, you can check out my latest video if you want to know what I'm talking about. Try to have someone hold them or bring them to a professional. Worst or owner story. I had this dog come in and I did do a video on it, but I took it down. Um, so it was a Kazen. A lot of people call them quiche hounds, but you pronounce it Kazen. Um, the dog was matted head to toe all over the place. It was infested with fleas. It was the worst case of neglect that I've ever seen. I had to shave it and I never shave double coated dogs. That was the hardest thing I've ever seen. I even asked the guy if I could keep his dog. Um, I said, if you can't care for him, I will take him off your hands. And he said no. And that's, yeah, that was, that was terrible. The cutest names I've run into for a dog. I have a meatloaf who is a St. Bernard. He's great. Obviously Meatball the Pug. Everybody knows Meatball the Pug. Um, I had a Kevin Murphy once. That was a funny name. Um, I have a Kibbles and Bits. Those are cute names. I have never stripped a Border Terrier. Your videos are the best thing to, win, to wind down after a long day. Thank you so much. Christoph. I am an Aquarius. I do not have any clients with a Swiss, she Swiss Shepherd just yet. Five minutes, guys. Would I consider traveling around to groom in different cities? Stay tuned. I might be. You never know. The cologne is not bad for the dogs. It's made specifically for dogs. We use it all the time. Um, I use it on my own dogs. I've never noticed an issue with them, so I'm going to say no. I have groomed a Tibetan Mastiff once, but if anybody has a Tibetan Mastiff and wants to bring me it, she was very, very old. I would love to groom one of those on the channel, especially when they're shedding. Their hair comes out in chunks. My German Shepherd. I don't think she'll come if I call her. Zoe, come here. They're all sleeping. Apparently they've all had a long day of sleeping.
do I like pizza? I currently have pizza right here, right now. So definitely. I have never groomed a borzoi. My best friend is currently showing one in show right now. And he said he might be able to get him to my shop for a groom in a video. So stay tuned. His name is Channing. If I thought about redoing the shop, absolutely. Um, I'm currently speaking with Groomer's Choice right now in regards to um, getting a few new items for the shop. So definitely thinking of redoing it. I need new crates. I need a new bathtub. Yes, this is Gidget next to me, the fluffy Gidget. Oh, Gidget, wake up. I know you're so tired. It's been such a long day of just napping on the couch. Gidget is three. Oh my gosh, she's so miserable that I woke her up right now. Gidget, like, look at her. She can't even open her eyes. The youngest dog I'll groom is four months. Is there any way fans can donate to help my store? I don't, I, I maybe I'll put my um, PayPal information on um, my page or on my videos. I, I haven't really thought about that, but maybe I'll do that. I do want to buy new equipment. Do I have any upcoming projects, visits, or surprises for us? So I do. I have a live coming soon that will be at um, the rescue that I was at before. So I don't know exactly what the date of that will be yet, but I will definitely announce it. A good dog for a first-time dog owner. I'm going to go with um, a Shih Tzu or if you want something that sheds golden retrievers. Have I ever groomed a Chinese crested? Yes, I have, but it was a powder puff, not a hairless. I've done many Bichon Frise. Is there some kind of vent, vent system where you would suck the dog hair up and away from you? No, um, I do have a vent system in my shop, but it doesn't suck up the dog hair. Do I go see the falls much? I have seen the falls on a regular basis since I was a little girl. I worked in the tourist industry. I worked in hotels. I've seen the falls more times than I could ever imagine. For me, it's not anything exciting. I am used to seeing it. So do I deliberately go down to the falls to see it? No. There is nothing exciting for me to watch dangerous rushing water go over an edge. It actually scares me. <laughs> yes, I've groomed a Pekingese. Have you ever fallen off the falls? I wouldn't be here today if I fell off the falls. What do I do with all the hair? I put it in the organics. Sometimes people take it. Yes, I've done many Springer Spaniels. All right, guys, I'm signing off because somebody has shown up here at five o'clock. And uh, thank you guys for joining the stream. Melvin, please don't bark. Come here. Say goodbye. Don't bark. Goodbye. Oh, don't show that. <laughs> oh.